the error was we're using too many tokens and there there's a there's a clear reason for that and honestly this is a good thing in that what we're doing right now let's see where is it is it chat button no 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 it's an edit yeah that, there we go okay it's this thing right so we are we're grabbing the stream transcription segments and the reason they're segments is because we have like time annotated pieces of the transcript. But the thing is, is that that is a lot. It in and of itself is gonna be more tokens than what we can send. All right, so here's the error we get back, right? Request too large for GPT-4 and organization blah. Tokens per minute, limit 10,000, requested 16,000. So it's not like we were like 10 times too many or something, I think. And, and this is why kind of the workflow, the way I've been thinking about the workflow is doing one episode at a time to be able to like have a more, like, because if you have like a three or four hour stream, that's a lot of words, that's a lot of activity. Um, so if we just slice this to be just the transcript segments that are part of the episode, that's gonna like one, focus it, like distill what's happening in the episode. Um, and like only send that part is also going to use less tokens so overall a good thing uh the question is going to be uh what does that data look like what is um like we should have stuff in record that tells us the um start like start and end times of the episode and then we should have the like the, the transcript stuff so if we look in the network tab, right? So like, this is misleading, right? It's like, oh, that's not that much text, but see this dot, 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 hold on. See this dot, dot, dot right here? This is actually, like, this is this is way more words than what you're seeing here. It's just, you know, it's doing, uh, you know, ellipsis, middle ellipsis. Anyway, so like, if we look at the stream, here we go, here's the stream record. Uh, duration is a lie, uh, but we have um, do we not? Where, where's the transcription segments? Oh, this is the streams list. Can we? Ah, here we go. Here, so here's us getting the doing the get one, right? And so then we have a bunch of data, but we have transcription segments here. And so we have start and end, and these are um, ISO 8601 duration values. I don't know. So in the past, I would definitely say that like for ISO 8601 timestamps, like date time values, you can sort those lexicographically. So in other words, you can just like look at the actual characters one at a time from left to right and figure out like the, the sorting based on the characters without having to parse the values. I don't know that that works if there's a decimal point. And I think that might be the case as well for these values so the question here so we have start and end and then on the episode record where are we getting the episode is it here no that's the stream some, at some point we got the actual episode record. Is it this one? No, that's also the stream. Stream, probably way, way earlier, right? Because we would have, we would have only gotten them once when the page loaded. It's this, um, and this is a thing that we could probably do better. We don't need to fetch, uh, like we could do caching and stuff rather than trying to make more complicated logic in the component to manage uh, when we're retrieving the uh, 
the stream record. Is this the episode? There we go. So the episode has this tracks list. And so what we should be doing is like for each track, looking at the set of transcription segments that are fall into that range. Uh, which is a thing. I, I'm pretty sure I've implemented something like this elsewhere, but slightly different. Uh, so I think we're just gonna be implementing this again. And so this is gonna be like a, does this, like we're gonna, um, I don't know, filter transcription segments to see if they fit in one of the episode tracks. Yeah. Now, there's typically only going to be one or a handful of tracks, at least the way it currently works. You can imagine if we're doing fancier like episode extraction stuff where we're like pulling edits from multiple places in the stream, there might be a bunch of tracks. So the tracks here are like, I use a different word elsewhere, I call them cuts because that's what they're more like. Uh, naming things is hard. But let's say we do a filter. <laughs> but not, there, there's this, that, that, that would be cool. Like if you had like multiple people talking, but that's not what we're doing. We're gonna say um, transcription segment in bounds yeah yeah let's make that function function okay and it says any uh, I think we should be able to do like an episode uh, episode from types, right? Because an episode has tracks. Yeah. So, um, and what we care about here is that if the segment starts or ends in any of the tracks, then it's in, otherwise it's out, right? So we're gonna say, okay, if there are no tracks or it's empty, then it's definitely not in. Uh, that shouldn't really happen now. Uh, and then we're going to, we can, we can extract start and end. We're gonna convert them into decimal values. So we're gonna like, uh, what is it? Parse ISO, there's a bunch of different ones, but I have one. Uh, parse ISO 8601 duration. Is that the right function? It takes a string and it returns a duration. No, parse into seconds. Parse into seconds. There we go. And we'll, uh, we'll import that. And then, so, oh, that, that actually was, the other one was what I wanted. So for start and end of record tracks, okay. Uh, we have some conflicting names here. So I'm gonna rename this to be like, uh, start transcript. I mean, it's not like we are lacking in we can make names longer. Yeah, because otherwise, like, <laughs> Copilot, why did you do this? Um, and of course, we have to do the same thing. So start, cut, end, cut, parse into seconds, start and end. Um, if start transcript is greater than or equal to start cut, and end transcript is less than or equal to start end cut, I don't, I don't think that's that's. Um, well, it's interesting, right? So start transcript 
needs to be greater than or equal to start cut. So the start has to be inside of the track, but start transcript can um, just needs to be less than in cut. We don't care where, this is not about contains. This is about overlap. So let's rename the function. We have a better name now through thinking about what this is doing. Overlaps, right? Okay, so if the start of the transcript segment we're looking at is inside of the, the cut that we want it, if the end is inside of the cut, aka the track, and we want it, if neither of those applies, then we check all the other tracks and see if that's true. And then if nothing, then we return false. And this is going to eventually realize that that, yeah, that covers all the cases. Uh, and then record here. Yeah, so it's we can say that record here is an episode. And that might make everything happy. Episode has an ID, checks out, okay. That's basically the only thing. The only thing that the, um, the React admin record type that you get by default for these things here really does is it's like, it's either uh, an RA record it has an ID and it, it, you know, it's a, it's a map of strings to anything, which is what record string any is. So it's that plus an ID, which is an identifier type. So either a string or a number. Um, so this record type is either that with an ID or that without an ID and our episode record, uh, interface episode interface is kind of a subset. Um, it, it like, covers all the essential parts. It doesn't conflict. Other words. Okay, so this should mean that the transcript that will uh, extract and send will only contain transcription segments from the episode. And we're not changing the order, like we're, we're iterating over transcription segments and we're filtering. So we're taking the ones where there is overlap and then we're just taking all the text. A thing we could do is actually include the start and end times. That could be useful uh, in other contexts for like, hey, help me find things where I'm talking about interesting stuff for like AI generated cuts or for markers, um, that sort of thing. But we're not doing that right now. So we're just gonna move on. Um, Clear all that stuff out. I think I'm just going to refresh to make sure everything is up to date. Uh, you have provided an out of range value for the select. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it doesn't like <laughs> what I'm doing in that drop down, but I don't care. Uh, so let's clear all of this. We're going to open the chat and I'm just going to send it and it's going to think and hopefully it doesn't, um, so what we saw before when the API failed is that it gave a 502 error and that um, like made the AI API service that I wrote that wraps it fail. So uh, it's kind of interesting to just look at the raw response, but we can see here, title, building and defending our base and pal world. All right, we're, we're looking at a pal video. Episode, um, multiplayer episode 12. So it is episode 12, according to the, the title, because I have a different numbering scheme for these videos. Private server with subscribers. So it, it took uh, my video title and it gave kind of a description of what's going on in the video. Um, but keeping that it's Power World Multiplayer, episode 12, private server with subscribers, and it dropped the stream VOD off the title which is, uh, a, I would say a choice, but it's, it's what it did.
and in the description it says, in this recorded live stream, we explore the world of Pal World, focusing on building and expanding our base on a private server along with our subscribers. Uh, sure. We, we, we are a multitude. Anyway, uh, we go through a fast paced journey of gathering resources, setting up defenses, working uh, with our pals and defensive tactics against intruders. Is that what happened? Watch as we figure out farming mechanisms, work on different different structures, and discuss game strategies with our community in real time. Whether you're a Power World veteran or just interested in the game, this episode has plenty to offer. Uh, I have seen this text many times in the uh, uh, GPT-4's attempts at writing descriptions. Uh, and keywords, Power World, multiplayer, private server, folding strategy, farming, defense, resources, gameplay, live stream, subscriber interaction, base expansion. So I can use that message, but I'm not going to. I've already uploaded this video. I think this one's already live. Um, so like, let, let's focus on the topic here. So let's see. Uh, this episode has plenty to offer. Uh, rewrite the mess the description. Do not include the phrase. This episode has plenty to offer. Now send that. Stuff happens. All right. So it says, join us on a journey through Power World in this recorded live stream. We're engaged subscribers, packed with action and strategic gameplay, get a closer look. Uh huh. Makes this gameplay not only exciting but also enriching for all power world enthusiasts. So it doesn't use the, that phrase anymore. So this is this is this this is what I was trying to do. <laughs> Have an interactive um, way of uh, probably should clear the chat message when we're done uh, when we hit enter or send it. Also done with that error message. Error message. Right, so when we when we click send, um, yeah, there's a. I should pull these out into handlers, but that's fine. I'm not going to. Um, we want to, yeah, set message content into into an empty string. Of course, the problem right now is this isn't. So now. About two hours ago, <laughs> I mentioned that, hey, this text field is not controlled, which means when we set message content to an empty string, it's not going to do anything, actually. So there we go. We'll make it a, a, a uh, controlled field. Okay. Um, so add a, add a note. that the uh, video was from a Twitch live stream and include a link to my Twitch channel. I dare it. Now, a loading indicator would be great for this. Also, this, is, this, this did not, no, no live update there. All right. Yeah, and it just it just has a placeholder. Yeah, no, it's replace your Twitch channel link here with the actual link. Yeah. So I think what I want to do here, we're gonna we're gonna clear this, close this. Um, let's see, how do I want to do this? I probably want to have some way of like adding. second maybe uh, let's do this let's add some stuff to the context right so we have a bunch of stuff here um, the base 
description is record.description. My Twitch channel, like, I, I'm just gonna hard code stuff here, right? Uh, and then at some point we can figure out how to like parameterize and pull it in. There's a thing that I want to eventually do, which is to have like, um, and I talked about this a little bit in the, the project on GitHub, that's linked to the, the repo, the overall workflow. So hinted in this is to have like series. So have like tracking like related streams and like pulling those things together so that there's metadata that can be used to like inform this. So anyway, so, so if I just send that, what does this look like? Does it pull in that additional context? Uh, also, some kind of loading indicator here would be really good. <laughs> really good, uh, actually. Uh, let's see. So let's 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 see about that. So that would be in chat dialog. We want to have something here. It's like, yeah, sure. Yeah, no. Um, when I have like a loading state, there we go. And then, yeah, well, we'll just, we can do this. We can do something, you know, nicer looking or whatever, but just having something that says something is going on is good. And then when we send messages, what are we gonna do? We're gonna do this the lazy way. <laughs> Uh, there we go. Okay. Uh, okay, let's open the dev tools up again. So let's see, if we open chat and we send the message, we can, we can see the API, look, here's our loading, dot, dot, dot. That's good. Uh, okay, so it doesn't include Okay, this time the title did include the word stream, uh, the phrase stream VOD, like the original did. Um, da, 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 da. Originally broadcast on Twitch, join me, yada, yada, yada. Uh, okay, so still not quite right. Let's improve the prompt. I always put a link to the Twitch channel in the description. There we go. Uh, so I'm gonna I'm gonna clear this and send it again. So we can actually see what gets sent here, right? So if we just go to request, eventually we'll be able to see. I guess we have to wait for the request to happen. Uh, okay. So our our uh, our job did not get updated. Okay, so I think I'm gonna just refresh. I'm not exactly sure why the, uh, um, and a link to the YouTube, YouTube, YouTube playlist if I have it. Okay, so just kind of outlining what uh, GPC-4 should be doing. Let me clear all that out again. Uh, I guess I can also filter just like XHR. I don't know the no no amount of stuff we're seeing here. Click chat, click send. It's loading. Uh, let's see, does it keep the playlist link? Does it keep, oh, maybe. Maybe it's even a real link, uh, PLC FTX. I mean, just because it includes a link doesn't mean it's actually the link that was originally in the text. It could hallucinate something else. But no, in this case, it's good. Uh, yeah, so cultivating multi-level farms. So yeah, <laughs> that's the thing that happened. Uh, Power World episode 12, 
uh, description, join Streamer Saban as he delves into the realm of How World Multiplayer. In this episode, he sets up a private server with subscribers. I mean, I had already done it, but. Uh, experiments with the berry plantation and wheat farming, forges ahead to evolution of base building, exploring different methods of efficient resource gathering and maneuvering through combat situations. This episode sheds light. Uh, is that what happened? So this is episode 12. I have episode 12, right? Also, that's a cool thumbnail. So we're gonna we're gonna be a little bit more meta here. Uh, all right, so this is when I was working on base three, right? Which is where I first had the idea of doing like. Uh, um, having a multi-level base. Right, this is a while ago. Well, posted a day ago, but this is from a while ago. It's not, not live yet. Uh, all right. So yeah, like I could use this, like I could say use this message. And right now that just appears in the console, right? So the the goal here will be to take this um, and I guess what I'll have it do is I'll have it write it into the description and then this will be something where I might take the title and move it back up and, and, and clean things up a little bit. Yeah, but th this this is good. This is, this is what I wanted to have um, and was kind of doing manually um, in ChatGPT for some things, but uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, like I could imagine longer term that like the context and, and these details might actually be like configured somewhere. And then the UI like pulls that from the back end, um, or like, you know, some kind of profile or some kind of something, right? Rather than being hard coded. But for now, this is fine. Like this is the episode description chat button. <laughs> and that's what it does. Uh, it, it it summarizes episode descriptions. Uh, okay, so the next thing I need to do is actually implement, where is it? Is it in here? I need to implement this. Um, how do I do that again? Set form. No. Uh, there was somewhere already in the code base where I was setting fields. Not here. Not here. Uh, oh, oh, I know how to search for this. So final form. Not whole word. Is it? Is it not final form anymore? It's something form. Um, is there a use form that I refer to somewhere? Uh, React hook form, right? Final form was the thing that React admin used to use. Okay. So we're gonna add another hook in here to be able to, uh, well, that's, I mean, yes, but no. Uh, we're gonna, don't need that import either. We're going to uh, import this and then we're gonna add that to the uh, stuff we're doing here. If I could only type set value, I think, I think that's what I'm after. Set value. And then in here, we call set value. And uh, all right. So this has been complaining this whole time because I've not provided a type for source. Well, we're just going to say it's a string. Yeah. Good enough. And then import that from React. 
All right, red squiggly goes away. Okay, so what this should allow us to do is if I, let me just refresh again. I'm not gonna spend all of those tokens uh, for something that's not gonna work. So send, we get a result. It might be different. It might be the same, I don't know. It's the same input as last time. Uh, the link looks right. The other link looks good. We also get a chance to talk about our strategies and future plans involving, yep, use this message, right? So now it appears in here. And then what I'll do is I could, I could, I'm not gonna save this because again, this is already up. But we'll do this like this and then, yeah. So that's cool and all, but there's more. But wait, there's more. <laughs> so uh, I don't have a discard changes, so I'll just re refresh the page. Everything should go away. Good. So um, what can we do here? What can we do? Um, we have timestamps. We have timestamps for the transcription segments. So like when, like start and end bounds of when stuff was said, right? So what if, I told the prompt to also generate YouTube chapters for the episode. What if, what if I do that? Hey! A dear feather just follow. A dear feather, thanks for the follow. Good morning, if it's, if it's morning for you, it still is for me. How's it going? Mm. That was really good timing because I was just about six of water. I took a, a, a bigger sip in honor of your point redemption. Ah, I'm, I'm good. I, it, it's, it's funny because the, the stuff that I'm working on right now, it's actually 8 PM. All right. Uh, yeah, you must be, uh, what GMT plus two or so. Somewhere in Europe, maybe, at a guess. Anyway, it's uh, Asia, okay. Well, it was a little off. Ah, <laughs> uh, I, uh, so, guess what country? Oh boy, uh, is it? <sighs> a really contro controversial one. Uh, hmm. a, contro a controversial country in Asia. Uh, there might be a couple of those. <laughs> not China. <laughs> I'm not worried. You just hear chatting. It's no big deal to me. Um. I don't know. What is a country? It's a whole other topic. Anyway, um, what I was gonna say though, is that I'm, I'm pretty excited. Oh, Israel, that makes sense. That could be controversial. Um, well, good evening to you. I was gonna say though, that I'm pretty excited about what I'm working on right now. It's it's kind of more front end stuff, but it's something that was like one of the first things I started working on on this project, um, which is this this chat interface, like being able to inter interact with uh, GPT-4 and be able to like iteratively work on the description of uh, videos. But, uh, so what I need to do, uh, <laughs> Yeah, the name of the project, it's just a randomly generated name called Glowing Telegram. Right, so it doesn't mean anything. Yeah, there's a there's a project on GitHub, Sabin slash glowing, glowing Telegram, that has like all the work so far. It's, it's an open source project of mine. You're making your first game. Uh, what kind of game are you making? It's gonna be a game about falling. Well, uh, in default. Default. Default? 
<laughs> Is that a thing? Well, there's a game engine. It's cross-platform. Nice. Um, I, I've never really done any game dev in a while. I think the last time I really was looking at game engines was with the whole Unity uh, <laughs> kerfuffle a while ago and looking at uh, Godot. Oh, turnkey solution. That's a phrase. <laughs> Free forever. I wonder why you would say that. Uh, yeah. I have a hard game idea. Uh, do, you want, do I want a challenge? <laughs> uh, I mean, I, I'm, I'm all ears. But uh, I don't know. Why did I say with and not if? <laughs> if he wants to, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, I, I, I get that. Um, sorry, hold on. I want, I want to. I got limited time today. MMORPG rogue, like with permadeath. Well, I mean, if it's a rogue like, it would have perma with a really complex stat system. How massive is the <laughs> massively multiplayer? Oh no, you got to do Pokestart Start first. Because like, like oh, like twenty people. <laughs> well, that's not very massive. <laughs> well, I mean that's the thing, right? Is that when you think of like a game that has twenty people, or two hundred people, or two thousand people, or twenty thousand, or two hundred thousand, two million, uh, you know, your constraints of how complicated the game can be. And how things interact. Um, I mean, they don't have to change. You can make something really complicated for a lot of players, but it's not going to work right. And if you make something really simple for a few players, then you're kind of like leaving opportunities on the table. Uh, but what do I know? I've never published a game. <laughs> I just play them. Okay, so for the next thing I want to do, though, to be able to do chapter generation, we need to include in the transcript data the timestamps. Um, so where am I doing that? I think it's an edit, right? Well, not the only one, but it's hard to make, sure. Um, so here we go. So I'm, I'm generating the transcript here. Hey, there you go. You got a, a piplup? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't know what that is. Okay. So we're gonna, we're gonna do like, um, yeah, we're gonna do this and we're going to Um, let's see. Oh no. You don't like Piplup? Well, do, uh, uh, let's see. You have to wait for the next, uh, Pokemon to, to come up, but you can c catch another one. There's lots. I have, like, hundreds at this point. Uh, there is a Poke Help that'll link you to the uh, like all the commands. Yeah, there you go. Uh, so if we do segment dot start segment start and segment ends. Um, what does this data look like? I think it's like ISO date times. I forget. Uh, let's see if we can look at the data. So transcription segments here. Start and end. Okay, so it's ISO 8601 durations, which are not super helpful. Let's um let's do a little bit of work here. So let's make a function. We're gonna um, we're gonna do const start, parse into seconds, yeah, const ends, and then yeah, something like this. 
except I don't want to show start. I don't want to show s seconds. Maybe, I guess seconds are okay. Um, but this these values are relative to the overall stream, whereas. <laughs> What's my API key? Uh, it's in a file. It's in a file that I know not to open on stream. <laughs> I'm paying. I'm paying uh, OpenAI for uh, the service. Yeah, whatever it is. Um, it's segment that text, right? So what I'm thinking here though, is that what I want to do, I guess, oh, this is unfortunate. How do I, huh, I can, I can, I can cheese this a little bit. This is not going to be a permanent solution, but we can, um, do like const, um, episode start yeah except there's not a record start uh, you sound like you play Fortnite a little Minecraft and uh, one game in Roblox <laughs> what does that mean I I have played Fortnite like I've played like two games of no build battle royale I've, I don't have, I've, I've not touched Roblox. Um, and I play Mod of Minecraft every Monday on stream. Uh, and then in between streams. Doing uh, Great Tech New Horizons for the last couple of months. Uh, so record, we have tracks. So let's just grab the first track start value. And so that's going to be, that's a string, and we parse into seconds. So then what we're going to do is we're going to subtract out episode start. So we get kind of relative times inside of the episode. And then I want to update the job. What's the keywords? Uh, if the I take the time stamps and and details from the transcript and add hey Jay Good morning or afternoon. Happy Sunday. Uh, and create YouTube chapter um, markers for the video. <laughs> okay, that's that's a little excessive copilot for the to include what's up uh, in the description. Yeah, we don't need that part. I already say that. Just uh, doing some prompt engineering, I guess. So, uh, you, you have good timing. We, we're about to see something maybe work, maybe not. So let's clear all this. So here is kind of um, a plucked out episode. I actually already have uploaded this. On, on YouTube, it's not public yet. Um, but what I said like a month or two ago was that what I was gonna do is I, I was not going to upload any more videos onto YouTube until I had a way to like automate this and make all of the stuff that I've, all the stuff I've been working on for the last several months actually work and make the videos. So uh, it has, I have been able to like export the open timeline file from a, a glowing telegram, import it into DaVinci Resolve, and it, and it and it somewhat works. And I actually have the tool upload video files to you, to YouTube, 
And that almost worked. I mean, it works, but there's more metadata it needs to attach. But that's not what we're doing right now. What I want to do now is I want to use AI. I want to use GPT-4 to generate better descriptions for my video. So I'm going to click the chat button. I'm going to send and it's going to fail. It's going to fail probably because I am now sending too many tokens, uh, which sucks. Okay. Let's see. What did I send? Um, okay. So how big was this? Can I copy? Hold on. Can I copy value? Open notepad. So this is what I'm actually sending. And it might just be that there are too many tokens. Unfortunately. Um, let's see, things we can do. We could probably uh, round the numbers. Because honestly, we're not adding that much here. So this is like from the start, 30 seconds to 36. How, how many? How, that's like, um, I mean, 6,000 seconds would be, uh, hmm, that doesn't seem right. 30, 3,900, is that like an hour? 3,600 seconds an hour, is that right? That's about an hour long um, transcription. Okay, so let's see, let's keep on working on this. We're gonna do, uh, how do we round? Uh, Math.round. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes that <laughs> does, like sometimes I can remember, remember things like that. Uh, right, so. Let's see if this refresh again. So anyway, so we already saw this work without the part where it's trying to generate the um, generate the YouTube chapter markers, right? So it was it was creating for us a description based on the content of the of the video, essentially, right? So we have transcription that does like speech to text. So it's like um, previously, like in the tool, I can take the whole stream audio recording, like this, the, the microphone uh, track and have that do speech to text. And so that this is using that. Um, and so we're calling open AI's API. It's good that we didn't immediately get a, an error. So I think this is actually working now. It'd be cool if we had a better loading indicator, but whatever. At least we have something. It's gonna take a, a few seconds and hopefully succeed. I'll probably have to think about like better feedback on, there we go. So, here we go. This is what uh, GPT-4 returned back to me, right? Exploring Power World, base building, breeding, and farming in multiplayer. Episode 12, description. And then it wrote a description. I told it specifically that this is my this is my Twitch channel link, and I told it it needed to include the link. And if it could find the playlist link to include that, that was already in the, the pre-baked description. So it included that. And then it has chapter markers. Nice. Uh, I don't know if it actually what the, the, how that works with that, but here we go, three seconds in. I'm pretty sure that the first chapter marker has to start at zero, zero though. So that might be wrong. We might have to tell GPT to do better. Uh, exploring and gathering resources, 32 seconds in, planning a new base, <laughs> 64 seconds in, uh, this is wrong. Uh, one minute, 29. 
How far does it go? It looks like it gives up 31 minutes and 53 seconds stream wrap up and final thoughts. So this might not be right. Might have to look at uh, how to persuade it to be better. So some iteration will be needed, right? So it's a 58 minute video and we only got about half of the stuff with chapter markers. So like if I click use this message, that's what this looks like. And then what, what I would do is I would take the title and put it up in the title field and remove this part. So you can imagine this actually working. Base gets attacked, battle continues, enemies defeated, aftermath, return to the base and planning for breeding farm. Uh, farm building continues, new techniques, perfecting, making more part. I mean, this looks like it could actually be describing what happens. But 31 minutes in is not accurate for like stream wrap up and final thoughts. I wonder if um, I need to actually, like this is all seconds. So I wonder if I need to like uh, turn this into minutes and seconds or hours and minutes and seconds ahead of time. Maybe even ditch the end. Like just do this. And then, um, let's see. So how will we do this? We'll do like const hours, const minutes, seconds. And we don't have a speaker, so. Like if I, if I do if I do more work to prepare the data to give it to GPT-4, maybe this will help it. Um, yeah, this might even be right. <laughs> okay, and then uh, the most important thing is in the context, Uh, chapters and always start with zero 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 so that the yeah and it is accepted by YouTube. And then I don't need the rest of that because I already say that. There we go. And, okay. So, I'm not gonna save this. But let's refresh. Uh, clear all that. And let's uh, chat again. Another thing I could do here is like give some like indication that the context is already loaded so that I should just go ahead and hit an initial send or have an initial message. Mm. So there, there are there's some opportunities here. All right, so this is interesting. Um, it's shorter. Right, introduction, mission of the day, gameplay start, berry plantation, worker assignment, base build, laying out beds, task assignment. Uh, wrapping up the session at 41 minutes in, seems kind of odd. Do I believe this? Uh, let's see, we can turn on CC. 41 minutes in is like here. Like we're still building stuff. So this is just, it's wrong. Hold on, let's, ooh, that's big. There we go. Right, 
So 32 seconds in. Berry plantation? What berry plantation? Base build worker assignment, one minute, 38 seconds. Looks like I'm collecting arrows right now. Interesting. I'll have to, uh, I think what I'll have to do is I'll have to like, okay, so I think what I want to do is uh, <laughs> get rid of this. So I think here I was talking about like setting up a base. Uh, formation of temporary base, 425. Yeah. So one kind of gotcha here, I think, is going to be the fact that just because I'm talking about something doesn't necessarily mean I'm going to be doing something in the video. Like, uh, yeah. So between now and 536, yeah, so I am at the, the third base location. I'm working on that here. So that's right. Base defense, 757. Hmm. To 837. I'm not even at the base. I might be talking about it. I don't know. Debating the stone build. Exploring, farming, breeding, constructing stone foundation. 1252. Oh, video's gone. It popped out. Or, or did it? Okay, well anyway. Point being, I feel like there's probably some inaccuracies going on here. I wonder, we might be able to do like a layered approach where I, maybe we could do something where we use GPT to like summarize sections of the video. We may, like a thing I might need to do is find some way of getting because right now the only data it has for what's going on in the video is what I'm saying. It's not impossible for us to like get stills of the video and do other things to be like, to actually look at the contents of the video. But that is something that's beyond the scope of like what we're doing here. Uh, But you would think there would be enough context from how I, what I'm saying during the, while I'm playing a game, right? To be like, oh, this is what's going on. Maybe, maybe. Um, so it needs some work before it's ready for real life. Uh, also, I think this formatting is wrong. I don't think this will work for chapters. Uh, like, I think it needs to be like timestamps, colon, and then no dashes or anything. But anyway, those are, those are things that we can tweak the prompt to fix. Uh, or potentially, kind of going back to that layered approach, instead of having the, um, having it all come back as text and having it generate the whole thing in one go, what we can do, and we're starting to see that, right? Where it's like, oh, here's the title. Here's the description. Here's the Twitch channel. Here's YouTube chapters. Here's keywords. If we have uh, GPT-4 return like JSON, like structured data, and then we peel that data out and then do work uh, in our code, like that's getting the response back, that can also be a way to kind of enforce more regularity of formatting. So that's something to look into. I think I'll take note of that, right? So like, um, look at doing 
structured data responses from uh, GPT uh, API. So not just like controlling how we're getting the data back, but also how we are, instead of dumping everything into the description field, most of it goes in the description field, but like the title could go into the title, right? We could do that. Um, yeah. So more work to do here to get this to, to be nice. But like, even this, this is fine, right? We can just like take this out and take the title, put that up there, take out the description text. And there we go. That is something that I could like post, right? So in Steven's 12th episode of How World, he invites subscribers to join his private server. I mean, that's that's true, uh, but has always been the case. Uh, broadcast to life on Twitch. He explores the intricacies of the game and engaging in activities like berry plantations, breeding, base building, and battles. Yep. Creative tactics such as layering farms for optimal research generation are demonstrated. Yeah, that happens in this episode. Tune in to observe the mysteries of the game being unraveled. Enjoy the multiplayer excitement. Catch up on the Power World series playlist. There. Twitch channel, keywords. So it seems fine. It's better than what I'm doing right now, which is just this. Like I could, I've not even posted the video, so I guess I could do this, right? Uh, and I think this is otherwise good to go. One thing that I, uh, I haven't implemented yet is automatically setting the, the end screen on the video and those sorts of things, but it's a work in progress, but, but I can save that record as well. And, and ultimately, like the goal isn't to go into the YouTube console, uh, YouTube studio to do stuff, but rather I can click this and I can upload to YouTube and that works. And that's how this, this video got here actually is via the, the automation uploading it. Looks like we're done with some transcriptions as well. So, all right, that's going to be it though for today. It's just about time to look for some lunch. So uh, we're going to wrap up here and maybe we can find someone to raid.